Hey everybody, I'm here today to show you how to connect a Nintendo Switch to a TV. This will be an easy tutorial, so let's get right into the video. As you can see right here, we have the Nintendo Switch dock. We have the actual Nintendo Switch with the Joy-Con controllers attached. We also have this power adapter cord right over here. You can see it has the electrical plug on one side and then this connection on the other side. And then we also have an HDMI cord right here which has an HDMI uh, port or jack I should say on both sides. So it's very simple. We're going to start off with the Nintendo Switch dock. We're going to turn it around and on the back it's got this cool little feature that if you flip open the flap, if you flip the flap open, you can see we have all of these ports right here. So you can see it's labeled, really easy to understand, AC adapter, USB, HDMI out. So what we need to do is we need to plug the AC adapter into here and also the HDMI out, okay? So we're gonna start off with the AC adapter. Now this is the AC adapter, the power cord basically. We're gonna need this right here because this is the end that plugs into the wall. So we're gonna need this right here. Take this and plug it in over here. Very simple and straightforward, just plug it in just like that. And then I like to feed the cords through this little uh, slot right there. Just makes it nice and great for cord management. I'm really big with cord management. If you can see behind this TV, all the cords are nice and wrapped uh, perfectly. I'm huge on cord, cord management and I recommend that you do it too. Um, and then for the other one, this is the HDMI cord. Now either side, they're both the same. So you can use either side, it doesn't make a difference. But we are gonna plug it into the HDMI out and it only goes in in one direction. So obviously make sure you plug it in in the right way. Let me make sure that I am as well. Uh, yep, I am, just wanna make sure. Uh, I think I am, yep, there we go. So now what we're gonna do, put those cords through there, take our flap, flip the flap closed, okay? We're gonna turn the dock around, and now we have these other ends of the cords that we need to deal with. So the first one that we're gonna deal with right here, let's unravel the cord for great cord management, like I said. Um, the first one that we're going to deal with is the power end. So this is the AC adapter. We're going to plug this into an electrical outlet. I have a power bar behind the TV. I don't need to show you. I mean, you got to plug it into an electrical outlet. It's pretty simple and straightforward. You, you kind of can't mess this up for the most part. Just plug it in. I mean, there's really not much that you can do wrong. Plug it in, okay? Next, what we're going to do is get the other end of the HDMI out. And you're going to plug this into the HDMI input on the back of your TV. So on the back of your TV, there's going to be uh, probably more than one HDMI input. Okay, it's going to be labeled like HDMI 1, HDMI 2, maybe HDMI 3, and so forth. So you're going to take this, plug it into one of the HDMI ports um, on the back of your TV. And remember which number. So I'm going to go ahead and behind the TV right here. I'm plugging it into HDMI in 2, okay? So now what I'm going to do um, is I'm going to make sure that I put my TV on HDMI 2 mode. So you're going to get to select the input for the TV or the picture setting. It might say one of, one of those things. Um, the connection is done. So you're going to select... Uh, whatever HDMI you used. In my case, it's HDMI 2. In your case, it might be a different one. Then you're going to take your Nintendo Switch like this, and you're going to plug it into the dock. And as you can see right over there, it's now connected. And if I had my TV on, I would be able to play the Nintendo Switch on the TV mode. That's it. It's actually really simple. And that's basically it. I really hope you've enjoyed the video. If you liked the video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.